Okay, everyone. We're going to look at some lines in nature. In this picture, you can see lines. You can see lines. You can see lines of the mountain. You can see lines in the sky. In this picture, you can see lines on the mountain. You can see many, many layers of lines. You can see lines. Whoa, this one, you can see lines of the tree branches. Many lines, organic lines. Or, again, Nick lines. Look at lines. Look at lines on the lake. Look at the look at the lines. Look at lines on the tree. And we have lines of the road. Thick lines. This this would be a thick line. And become skinnier. Thick. Thick to skinny, thick line. <laughs> you can see lines of the snow, thin line. You can also see line on the grass. You can see the, the line, like the tree, outline of the trees. It kind of looks like zigzag. You can see thick line, thin line. Wow, look at this line. Curvy line, organic lines, thick and thin. Beautiful. This forest is made out of thick tree branches that look like lines, right? And look at this one, the road. This one would be from a thick to skinny. This guy, he has a line. He's a climbing stick, right? Like walking stick help to him to walk. Yeah, you can see very skinny lines. I'm trying to ask you to see, to look, to observe really carefully. Look at every single line you can see. Thick or thin. Yeah, look at some geometric lines. Geometric lines. Look at the skinny lines. My brush is very th thick. Well, do you see the horizon line? Horizon. So, horizon. <laughs> How do you spell horizon? Horizon line. At this line. Where it the sky and the ground meet. We talk about reflection. So this one is a lake. So you can see the mountain and its reflection. Wow, sand. Is this sand or grass? Maybe grass. You can see. You see lines, 
beautiful, beautiful layers. And it's you why why the why in the front the lines are thicker and then in the back the lines are smaller because of perspective. And you see the shadow, beautiful lines, really smooth, beautiful curvy line. Yeah, okay, this one you see lines, right? Long lines and short lines, very short. Wow, cracked, broken lines on the ground. Whoa, so many lines on the tree. Wow, look at the tree tr br uh, trunk. Look at the reflection, so many lines. Well, cactus are lines, tree. Wow, look at this waterfall. Can be seen as lines, lines pouring down. And wow, look at on the boat, there are lines. Wow, this is sand, lines on the sand. Why? Why are there lines on the sand? I think they're made by wind. So there's so many lines in nature. Look at this rock. Rocks has so many layers. Beautiful, beautiful lines. Oh, look at the fence and the house. This barn has wood plank, has many, many lines. Zebra has lines and the dot. Wow, on the rocks, look at the lines on these rocks. Wow, lines on the pathway, on the rail, like fence. Oh, lines on seashell and on rocks. Lines on rocks. Whoa, look at this beautiful straight line cur curve around on the road and also organic lines of the trees. Branches are lines. This bridge is beautiful. I like this image. Some geometric lines showing perspective, very beautiful zigzags, straight lines. Wow, power lines. Whoa, this big giant rock almost look like a tree. Spider webs are made out of lines. Wood grain has lines. Rocks, tree, grass, vegetables, seashells leaves you know there is a very um famous photographer his name is edward weston i think he paint he shoots these images really beautiful this is inside of artichoke this is mushroom inside of mushroom you can see lines i think those are like Seaweed, kelp, maybe? Beautiful lines inside of cabbage. Look at that. Lines. Stairways. Seashell. Oh, even knives and forks has lines. Beautiful lines on this um, pepper, right? You can see the lines and cactus yeah edward weston a very famous american photographer look at the grass and columns like greek ancient greek columns the style has a lot of lines fence oh um feather a swan feather has lines. 
Oh, and this one is moving. Like we're showing moving gestural lines when people are walking. This one image is full of lines. Lines on the cat, lines by the fence, lines of the ladder, lines of the flowers. Wow, I think they're building a boat with wood. So you can see lines. Cactus. Uh, the horses and the straw weave, weaved um, pattern. Yeah, wood. Mushrooms. Lines and dots. And this one is funny. There's a lot of bricks. Bricks, lines. Pattern on the wall. Even writing. Writings are lines. Cursive lines. Uh, Cloth lines. Wow, beautiful flower. You can see many, many lines. Okay. So, let's, let's draw one. Okay, so we watched many, many lines, and now I think I want to draw this inside of this artichoke. I think this is just really beautiful. I start seeing some small lines right in the middle on the bottom of the artichoke. So you can use any color. I'm not sure. I think it was it's supposed to be greenish or purplish, but I think it doesn't matter. So I see some lines. The lines are white, but I just draw what I see. And seriously, you don't have to count how many lines they are. Okay. They're they're just all you know is there are many, many lines. There are a lot of lines. So I see lines going to the middle. Looking at the real photos is great because you can know how things were made or how things were grows. So I think you just draw lines, layers, many, many, many layers, many, many, many layers, getting taller and taller and taller. Taller and even taller, taller. And the inside, I can do a little bit more line. Sometimes the lines are overlapping. Sometimes I see some dots. Looking at things carefully, it's probably better if you have a real, real one. Someday I will buy some real fruit and vegetables so we can look at the real ones to draw. And the flower bloom. Petals. Looks like a beautiful flower. There are some uh, a little bit texture, a little bit small details. If you can see, if you can add. Yeah, this is my beautiful artichoke inside of an artichoke. I colored um, wherever if I see a dark like shadow, I color it a little bit black, a little bit dark, thicker lines. And it, you know, you can make it up. Art is about the imagination at the same time about observation. Only if you can see and then you can imagine.
Okay, I'm not going to do it super realistically, but you get ideas. Let's draw lines. See you next week.